ladies, if you love that man, don't put him in a situation where he gonna endanger himself or you. Mm. Read the post from a girl who was going off on a guy in the club and she wanted her man to step in and start, you know, going off too. Her man stepped in and de-escalated, but she felt like he wasn't manly enough in that situation. Let me tell you something. A real man gonna do, a real man's gonna actually make sure he's there to protect his family for the future. Facts. That might not look like getting in somebody's face and rah, rah, rah. Facts. That might look like de-escalating something. Not necessarily saying he a Facts. coward, but he's understanding the bigger picture because the bigger picture is if he if he crash out, he not gonna be there for his family no more. He not gonna be there to support you no more. Facts. He not gonna be there to, to lead y'all no more. So just expecting a man to crash out over something that's really goofy and really small and very minute, that's very childish on a woman's part. Very low vibrational. Men's mental health, what they going through, their mindsets, all that matter too. I'm never putting my husband in a compromising position to the point where he might not be there for us in the future. He gonna protect us for sure. He gonna lead us forever. But baby, it ain't gonna be because of my attitude that something bad happened. Mm -mm. He stay focused and think about that bigger picture. If your woman puts you in a situation where you have to defend your life and her life, you might need to reevaluate that relationship. If your woman puts you in a situation that you were able to peacefully get out of and she have a problem because she didn't feel as though you didn't risk your freedom in her honor you need to reevaluate your relationship because you have a child with that woman you have kids with that woman if your son is growing up to handle situations the way she wanted you to handle that situation he's not going to make it to see 18 fellas stay away from these ratchets because that is ratchet low vibrational behavior a man can have a kid how transgender your gender changes you can have a kid! I hate when people be wrong and strong. Then she had the audacity to say Google it. Google, get out of my face. I'm not a transgender, I'm a bitch. Say it. Go ahead and say it, just say so, it. So, they giving transgender women uteruses? Or, or am I stripper? Or should everybody don't need to be giving advice? Mm-hmm. Cause... Say it! As far as I know, right now, in 2024, trans women cannot have kids. Now, technology <laughs> is evolving. This may not be a true statement 20 years from now. Let's, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. The way things is evolving, 20 years from now, when Jimmy turns into Jenny, he might be able to... Do I look like I only date white women? Yes. Yes, yes. yes you that? do. He just look a little whitewash. We'll give uh, less of a whitewash look. The hair. Okay. Okay. And then it's the glasses. Hair and glasses. Okay. So... And it's the voice. My voice. Is it the way I talk or the yeah, tone proper. of my voice? Proper. Yeah. Oh. You can't make this shit up. Nah, cuz I ain't gonna lie to you. The last video, you was hell bent on cooking that snow bunny. And then I seen three more videos after that. The way you be excited when them snow bunnies come around. Come on, nigga. You should never take a woman out on a date that you don't have vested interest in and that you're not sure she has a vested interest in you. Facts. You're wasting your money. But you're wait, wasting wait, your time. Facts. If you facts. Need, hold on, I'm not done. If facts. You need, if you want to know if a woman is interested in you for real and wants to not just use you as a meal plan, because let me tell you, a lot of my homegirls are going out with you because they are bored. They don't have nothing to do. They're not over the other dude. Okay. Somebody else hasn't hit her back yet, so she's going out with your stupid ass. Fellas. If you feel as though she's not with you 100%, if you feel as though she's not feeling you 100%, you don't need to be spending no money on her ass. I seen a video where a chick was talking about old heads, and she was like, yo, if an old head feels as though you're not really feeling him like that, he's cutting you off. Because they don't got time to play. A lot of times, my brothers, we get the feeling like, oh, she might not be feeling me all the way. Let me try harder. What you trying harder for? And guess what? You trying harder and you falling right into her trap. 
Now she got you where she wants you. You out here simping on a Tuesday. Sending food. Let me tell y'all something. I had a cousin that started talking to a chick on Instagram. This man was sending this heifer money to get her nails done. He thought it was play as hell. Or text her. He didn't even had a number. He was texting her in the DMs. Hey, love, did you eat today? Okay, I just saw your stories. I ain't. They didn't seem like you ate today. I'm gonna send you some money so you can go buy something to eat. Then another time. Yeah, I was watching your stories, man. When the last time you got your nails done? All right, I'm gonna send you some money so you can go get your nails done on me. And you know me, I'm like, nigga, you, you hit that already? Nah, I ain't even meet her yet. I just seen her on Instagram, I thought she was cute. You done sent this woman over $500. A stranger. You done sent a stranger over $500. And the most y'all done did was conversate on Instagram? Here's the crazy part, though. So now, they were supposed to go on a date. I guess all that tricking paid off. The day they were supposed to go on a date, she stood him up. Stood him up. Let me tell you something. If that's the type of things you do, that ain't play. If you randomly send a half his money to get the nails done, and you don't know him, you idiot. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. So I pulled up on this one girl and she curbed me, but she was like, hey, I got a friend for you. She's recently single. She's really cute. Y'all would hit it off. I was like, whatever. I got the girl's number. We started texting and she actually was pretty cool. A couple days go by and we're texting and our conversations are actually pretty good. So I'm like, hey, we should hang out. I start dropping some cheap dates we can do. Picnic in the park, grab ice cream, get Mexican food, you know, all within budget. I swear to God, she goes, those all sound fun, but can I just come over and show tomorrow? I've been super busy this week. I just want to relax. I was like, of course. If she, if she suggests coming over to chill, <clears throat> cheeks may be on the lines. I love that idea. I'm okay with that. That's even more budget friendly. So boom, next day she comes over. I go outside to greet her. First thing I notice, she's sexy in person. Like I was surprised. Anyways, we're just kicking it. We're talking. I ask her, I'm like, you want me to play some music or should I put on a movie? She wanted to watch a movie. I'm like, cool. Nine times out of 10, if I'm with a girl, I'm going to put on the Adam Sandler movie. They're funny. You don't have to keep up too much with the plot. You can have some conversations and still know what's going on. It's a good movie to watch on a link. Um, I ain't going to lie to you. Now, I watch Adam Sandler movies also, but I don't know. Well, sir, was, was she white? It's black folks that watch Adam Sandler also. An Adam Sandler movie wouldn't be my go-to. So we're watching the movie, and we're talking, we're flirting a little bit, and I want to try something, but she's not sitting close enough for me to make a move. And, you mm. know, I'm trying to throw hints her way. I asked her if she's cold. I got the blanket on me. We can share it, type shit, type shit. But she's like, no, I'm good. So in my head, I'm like, okay, maybe she's chilling. She doesn't want to do anything today. Let me just watch this movie. So we're probably like three-fourths of the way through this movie. I'm over here dozing off, like I'm falling asleep. She taps me on my arm. She's like, hey, I got to leave in like 30 minutes. She has something to do that night. Instantly, I lock in. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to go for a kiss. Shoot or shoot. No shame about it. I get up, use the restroom come back, I position myself a lot closer to her. We're within icebreaker space now. We're not even watching the movie at this point. We're kind of just making small talk. I count down in my head, three, two, one, going for the kiss. Boom! For a first kiss, I tend to keep it short and sweet. She wasn't going for that, you know? She was holding me out. Bro, this sound like a play-by-play -play breakdown of a basketball game. <laughs> was holding her, her it was getting nasty when we finally came up for air she was like why'd you wait so long i have to go in 20 minutes i told her i was like i really couldn't tell if you fucked with me she said i wouldn't be over here if i didn't i was like true true well there's a lot we can exactly. do in 20 minutes i don't like playing with a shot clock but at the end of the day i'm gonna get a bucket i'm gonna score regardless but my point is this ladies if you think you're on the same type time as the dude you're linking with you don't have to make the first move but make it easier for him to make the first move mm. if he's dropping hints if he's trying to get you closer if mm. you feel like he's trying to make a move he probably is don't waste a whole bunch of time or else you end up like me i had to hit a buzzer beater and of course it went in but you don't want to end up in that situation if you don't have to this is stuff single people go through a lot but it happens like that when you marry too miscommunications in the household this has happened 
between me and my wife before and I'm left feeling some type of way because in my mind, yo, I've been throwing hints all of this time. Come home, we chilling and your body language is, is telling me that you ain't trying to take it to the next level. Even though the whole day I've been shooting my shot. And then we end up going to sleep and then we wake up in the next morning and she like, well, I thought you wanted to da 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 how you just came home and didn't do nothing. Your body language didn't seem like you wanted me to try anything. Your body language was showing me that you just wanted to chill. What make you say that? We was talking freaky the whole day. Yeah, but you didn't give me an opening. What I look like trying to take an opening and then I messed the whole... Even when you married, you get the whole, oh, you just want to hang out with me when you want to have sex. Don't nobody want to hear that. Hey, friends. Taking my stud bestie out. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I'm just here, I'm mad. Are you ready to go outside? Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that bitch standing behind the door like an unlockable character. Oh. Yay, outside, here we come. Oh, one, two, three. Girl, come out. Hello, let's go. What? Me too. This bad bitch shit is not easy. All the bitches that die for real should get paid. Don't let your purse touch the floor and eat your broccoli, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I eat like this. Cause I got thyroid. You gotta put the pinky out. You gotta put oh. Lemon drop, cutie, very demure. Okay, that's not that's not demure. Don't. <laughs> Last little little zip. Hate hey, nice ass hoes. Feel me better than you in them clubs. Oh, clock it. <laughs> kind of caught me off guard. And then y'all be wondering why some of these damn studs be popping up pregnant. Y'all wondering why y'all be popping up pregnant. You wondering why uh, your homeboy at the crib and all of a sudden he trying to see what type of time you on. If me and you was cool and you pop up on your homegirl page and you wearing a skirt and you doing all that, oh, oh I'm on your head. I seen your little video. What's going on? You want to talk about it? It seemed like you're trying to come back to this side of the street. Let me go get my crossing guard uniform. With my whistle. This dude just hopped out of the car on me. He said, Miss Mail Lady, Miss Mail Lady, you dropped something. I turned around annoyed because I don't have nothing on me to drop. I said, what? He said, you dropped this money. I said, I don't carry money on me. Yeah, his number is on a fucking, uh, on a $20 bill. He said, yeah, lunch on me, call me. I'm gonna go to Popeyes. Ladies, I have a question. What's more important? Love or money? Like, I honestly want to know. What's more important? Finding somebody who's going to love you unconditionally or finding somebody who can spoil you. I guess what I'm asking is, do you rather being spoiled or do you rather being loved?